Qatar's Lulu Al Khatar issues a scolding statement after Israel kills the family of an Al Jazeera journalist in Gaza. Qatar Red Crescent Society begins distributing limited food and medical aid in the besieged strip. And is this more censorship? Meta and X are facing backlash after suspending Gaza's biggest news account, Eye on Palestine. Hi, it's Fatma, and you're watching the Roundup. Here are today's top stories. Top Qatari official Lulu Al Khatar has hit back at the international community's double standards in the ongoing Israeli massacres against Palestine. In a post made following the killing of four family members of a prominent Al Jazeera correspondent in Gaza, the Qatari official called on the world to at least, quote, pretend that all humans are born equal. On Wednesday, Al Jazeera Gaza's borough chief, Wael Dahdouh, lost his wife, son, daughter, and infant grandson in an airstrike on a residential area in the besieged strip. Meanwhile, Qatar Red Crescent Society has started distributing aid in Gaza on Wednesday as the Palestinian enclave continues to face a complete Israeli siege and a brutal bombardment campaign. The aid was sent by Qatar to Egypt's Al Arish airport last week and finally entered Gaza after the Rafah crossing briefly opened on Sunday. Qatar has sent three aid flights to Egypt that carried a total of 124 tons of food and medical aid for Gaza. This comes as Oxfam warned that the use of starvation is being used as quote, a weapon of war in the besieged Gaza Strip. And finally, the accounts of Eye on Palestine on both Instagram and X have been suspended amid growth speculations over Palestinian censorship. With more than 6 million followers on Instagram alone, the account is one of the biggest on the ground sources of information. That's it for me today. For more stories, head over to our website and download our app.